guys, most of us knew it was coming. Her assault weapons ban is here. Dianne Feinstein doing it again. This thing is, again, overreaching. They are attempting to define on their own terms. These are people who are not qualified, and they are trying to define everything about firearms. They're trying to say that some of these things are military uh, grade, uh, made for the military. Uh, now, instead of saying that they have certain characteristics, they're actually calling them military style characteristics. Whenever the only thing that makes one of these things military style is that giggle switch that you have that takes it, in our case, from a safe or a fire that goes on to three round bursts or fully automatic. Uh, but again, they're defining, th these are the experts now. These are the people in Washington, D.C. who are now defining for us what weapons or what and what things or categorize a certain way, and they are making it up as they go. These are lawmakers. They're making laws for us. Now, the reason why I'm so aggravated, let me get this out of the way first, because I have to show this. I have to. This <laughs> is a Ruger Mini 14. Many of you guys probably know, know what these are, have seen them. This shoots the same bullet, the same round, as this. This does not have a pistol grip. It does not have a threaded barrel. It does not have a barrel shroud that uncovers the entire barrel, which they may actually call that a barrel shroud because part of the barrel is actually covered. But nevertheless, in most cases, it does not apply to that. And it doesn't hold 10 rounds or more. Now it can, it can. So there's a very good chance they still may take this in there. But this fires exactly the same round as this. I'll be putting out a video to show how stupid these people are that they want to outlaw this being manufactured and sold in the United States, but they're perfectly okay with this. Any of you out there who knows anything about firearms, you know how stupid that is absolutely stupid. I do not know another term to define that. Stupid doesn't seem like a strong enough word, but my God, it's the most fitting word out there. The reason why I'm so aggravated, guys, is because I, I, I feel it coming. I see it coming. And I see it in these comment sections, either on my videos or Guns and, Guns and Gadgets makes some really good videos on a lot of the topics that are coming out. All these guys out there, they're accused, including myself, accused of fear-mongering, Oh, that's never going to pass. There's not enough. I actually have somebody on one of my other videos commenting saying that this very bill that has 34 co-sponsors in the Senate already, over half of what they need, that this would never pass. They don't agree with some of the other gun laws out there, but they're not worried about this one. They're not going to make any phone calls about this one. They're not going to write any letters about this one. Why? Because they think this won't pass. And they think that we're wrong because we're angry about these bills. Guys, that pisses me off. Let me tell you something. Everyone out there who says, oh, that'll never pass, so y'all need to quit worrying about it, you are not a Second Amendment supporter. You need to get out. We don't want you as part of this. It's hard enough to keep the gun community focused on something long enough to where we can fight stuff like this without having you clowns out there that are constantly saying that these bills will never pass. And then they go and put these out there with co-sponsors proving to you that they're likely going to pass and you still sit back. So you're trying to convince other people not to say anything, not to talk to their politicians so that you can look pompous and like you know what you're talking about. Meanwhile, these bills pass. And you sit back at some point like you didn't have anything to do with it. You are implicit on making people sit back and not do anything when you comment and try to make people think that they're overreacting whenever they are responding to bills that are being put forth today. People are out there now writing these bills. They are trying to pass these bills. They are lobbying behind the scenes. They do not put these things out there to be simply academic. They are putting these things out to pass and they're putting them out right now because they think they can pass. Let me tell you something. If you do not oppose the passage of these bills 
and work with us on getting these bills shot down and threatening these politicians with their jobs by telling them if you pass these laws, we are going to vote you out. You are 100% part of the problem. I have seen lists of the Republicans who voted for HR 8 and HR 1442 over the last couple of days being shamed across the internet. You guys are okay to shame them after these bills pass, but you won't take the time, which takes less time, to go out there and reach out to these people. I don't care if it's a form letter or an email. Any kind of correspondence is better than none. Sitting on your hands is bad enough. Trying to convince other people that they should sit on their hands and ignore these things is well worse because you're lying to people. Guys, this stuff is passing before our eyes. Assault weapons. Magazines that hold 10 rounds or more on the chopping block. Again, 34 co-sponsors. Wake the fuck up!